Hey, it was another movie review today. Today I'm going to be reviewing um, 1978's Dawn of the Dead, um, George A. Romero. Uh, this is the sequel to Night of the Living Dead. Um, I have the DV Max edition. I actually have a couple of editions of this movie. Um, yeah, this is the sequel to Night of the Living Dead, 1968, um, directed by George Romero. Um, it stars uh, David M. as Stephen, Ken Forey as Peter, Scott Reiniger as Roger, and Galen Ross as Francine, and also uh, George Romero and Christine Romero, his wife at the time, make uh, brief cameo appearances, and also um, Tom Savini does the um, special effects in this movie, which he actually makes a cameo appearance too as a biker. Um, now, this movie um, leaves off kind of where um, the end of the Night of the Living Dead left off, um, probably a few months later. Um, basically, long story short, um, Galen Ross and David M. Stephen and Francine, they, they work at this, uh, this news place, and um, they're broadcasting the news that, you know, uh, zombies are coming back to life and killing people and shit like that. Um, and... Um, so they decide to get out of there. Um, they leave with Peter and Roger, who are two SWAT people, work for the police. Um, and they basically go to um, Monroeville Mall is what it's called. It's in Pittsburgh. And um, they hold up there for, you know, it, it, they don't give a specific time, like how long they've been there. But you, you got to think it's been months, probably, I would say. Um so they hold up in there, um, you're in a big shopping mall, so you got all kinds of stuff at your disposal, um, guns, uh, anything you really want, you know, uh, it's a big shopping mall. So, um, like I said, uh, they're doing that, they're in this mall for months, um, they hold up in there, um, basically long story short, they hold up in there for months, um, eventually this biker gang shows up. Which, like, the head of it's, like, um, is this Tom Savini character. I forget his name. I think it's, like, Sledge or some shit. Um, they show up and basically try to take them off by force. They're, like, a big mob. And, um, they show up there. They take it by force, basically. It gets kind of silly at the end. Um, you know, I mean, they end up, like, getting zombies with, like, pies in their face and shit. It's pretty funny. Um, it's kind of like a serious zombie movie, but it's like goofy cartoony almost at the same time. It's kind of hard to explain. Um, now, like I said, the effects were done by Tom Savini. Um, he'd been, um, most notably for this movie. And I think right after he did the Friday the 13th, um, the special effects in that one. And then of course, I think he did, uh, he did the effects for Day of the Dead 2, the sequel to this movie. Um, not really much else to be said about this movie. It's a cult classic. In my opinion, it's um, one, the best zombie movie ever made. Um, it's kind of a tie for me between this one and Day of the Dead. I really enjoy that movie too. Um, but this one's the best. Um, the, uh, the effects in this movie are great. Um... It was, you know, like, at this time in 1978, you really had never seen nothing like that before. Um, you know, like, zombies taking, like, bites out of people and taking, like, fucking chunks out of them and shit. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty gruesome. Um, probably my favorite character in the movie would have to be probably Peter, played by Ken Forey. I uh, really enjoyed his character, um seemed like he was a pretty nice guy, uh, you know, uh, him and Scott, him and Scott Reiniger, uh, the character of Roger, seemed to form a pretty f uh, close friendship, um, and then you got uh, Steven, who in my opinion, when he comes out of the elevator and he gets bit by a zombie at the end of the movie, um, and he's playing a zombie, that's like the best zombie 
um, I've seen anybody ever play. Um, the way he comes out and he's like dragging his fucking foot and I mean he just he looks it looks awesome. I mean he just does a really good job. Um, seen interviews with the uh, the character of Francine played by Galen Ross. She had never had any acting experience up until this movie, and really you can't tell. I mean, she did a pretty good job playing it off, I think, because she did a pretty good job. Um, I think it may have even added to it a little bit, um, like her sincerity. And um, you could just tell that she, I don't know, I just thought she did a pretty good job. Um, obviously, you got George Romero directing it. You know, in my opinion, he's, you know, you want a zombie movie done right, and this is the guy that you went to. Um any other zombie movies I've seen in comparison, especially nowadays, um, early 2000s to late 2000s, you had like the Resident Evil trilogies and stuff. Um, never really been a big fan of those. They, um, I've always been more of a fan of the games, to be honest with you. The first couple were okay, and then after that, it kind of just got stupid. Um, so, yeah, I mean... This is the quintessential zombie movie. If you've never seen a zombie movie, or if you really don't have any interest in it, it's it's more than a zombie movie, in my opinion. It's uh, it's like an end of the world type movie, but it's got zombies in it, you know. And uh, yeah, uh, now George Romero, he does make a um, he does make an appearance in the beginning. I don't know if I said that or not already, but he plays like a director at working at the movie station with his wife. Christine Romero, who actually plays in the movie, too. Um, now, other than that, really don't have much else to say about this movie, other than that it's great. Um, if you've never seen it before, I definitely recommend uh, that you check it out. Um, like I said, that's uh, 1978's Dawn of the Dead, George Romero. If you haven't seen it, check it out. My next review will be on um, Day of the Dead. Thank you.